Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary O'Connor with the Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation and the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. On behalf of Alaska Public Media, thank you for watching Hangar Flying. This evening, we are pleased to have Bernie Willis back on our show. Bernie has extensive knowledge and experience flying around Alaska as a general aviation pilot and also as a commercial pilot. He is the current president of Chapter 42 of the Experimental Aircraft Association. Bernie, welcome back to Hangar Flying. Thank you, Mary. On our last program, we were talking about some of the difficulties and challenges to keeping young people engaged in aviation and even getting them started. Do you want to continue on your thoughts? Well, I think the, the cost of learning to fly is, is one of the significant factors. Uh, when I learned to fly, you could buy a brand new Cessna 182 for $13,000. Uh, today, it's $500,000. A new automobile, automobile back then, for instance, a Chevy Impala, $3,500. Today, $30,000. So 10 times versus a, a huge, right, things are just not comparable. However, uh, there are scholarships to get people started. Uh, a few years ago when one of my sons went to college, the cost for his aviation education beyond the regular college was, I believe, 27000 However, that's a lot of money, but it pays back. Mm -hmm. uh, it does pay back if you stay in the field of aviation. Um, that same son now is, is 34 years old, and he's making 140000 a year. And he's not working for a major airline. So. What was the 27000 versus $140,000 a year? I mean, it's been a great investment. Exactly. It's an investment in the future. That's right. So clearly you've done um, some great work in keeping your um, family involved <laughs> in aviation and encouraging them. What advice would you give to somebody who is looking at starting a career in aviation? I think the most important thing is to be willing to sacrifice for the present time so that you have the potential for a good future. I mean, live on rice and beans and, and cornbread until <laughs> <laughs> you can afford something else. So that is great advice. And I think um, in order to kind of share some of your experience, um, what you seem to be doing is giving back to aviation and some of the things that you've loved and encouraging other people to find that same joy, whether it's in flying or building airplanes or controlling them or just being around aircraft. Um, can you talk about some of the opportunities that EAA has for giving back to aviation? One of the special things that uh, EAA has on a national level, which is translated to a local level, is the Young Eagles program. Uh, this is uh, what this is all about. It's really taking kids for an airplane ride. Uh, there's some paperwork to be filled out, some liability releases and things that the parents would be responsible for. But other than that, there's no charge. And the people providing the ride provide their own airplane, their own fuel, and it gives an opportunity for a young person to see themselves into a new field, something that perhaps flying to Seattle or, or to Kotzebue or somewhere in a jet, you do not see. Mm -hmm. You're up at 30,000 feet. Many of us who flew at 30,000 feet for many years like flying at 500 feet to look at all the things we flew over but really couldn't <laughs> quite see. And as you mentioned before, that was kind of the defining um, point in your career when you went for an airplane ride when you were younger. That's right. Being able to look at the world from a different perspective. And it's not just looking down, but it's looking up. It's looking at the sky in the clouds and the effects of everything that makes this world what it is. Bernie, in wrapping up, I would like to know, is there any piece of advice that you would have um, to help pilots stay safe in Alaska? Yes, there is. I would encourage them to ask themselves the question, what if? If the runway's long enough, if the stream is swift enough, or too swift? Is there a place to beach this float plane once I'm on the water? Uh, is the presence of those lenticular clouds trying to tell me something about the wind up there? What if? 
if I do this and it doesn't work out, what is going to be the effect on not only me, but my family, my loved ones, the future? Is it worth it? What if? That's great advice. Uh, and it's good to know that there are people like you who have the experience and the knowledge that are sharing that uh, with future generations and with pilots that are just enjoying being around airplanes. Thank you so much for being on our show. Yeah, thank you, Mary. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Safety Foundation and Alaska Public Media, thank you for watching Hangar Flying. If you enjoy the program, I encourage you to become a member of the Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation. Membership forms are available at our website, www.aasfonline.org. If you're a pilot, don't hesitate to always stop and think, what if? Follow Bernie's advice. Until next time, fly safely.